Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you another favorite snack of mine. My mom makes this for me all the time and I wanted to share it with you guys today. If you wanna know how to make this delicious little snack, let's go ahead and get started. So first, let's go ahead and start off by what you will need. I cannot pronounce this brand of rice to save my life, but you are obviously going to need a box or two boxes, whatever you prefer of this rice. It is a Near East brand, and I believe, just going off of it, a Quinona blend, and I'm using the rosemary and olive oil blend. They do make very different varieties of this rice, so go ahead and you know, buy whatever one you want to try and go with that. The next ingredient you will need is some olive oil. You can either use just regular olive oil, but today I'm going to be using extra virgin olive oil. Then you will need a one cup measuring cup and you will also need a one teaspoon measuring spoon and also some water. And then the very last thing you will need is a medium size pan. I'm just using this one right here. It's not too small, not too big, so it's perfect. So the very first step is to obviously pour the rice into the pan, and then we will get to all the other steps. But first, just go ahead and pour it in, and the second step is to pour the water. It is one and three-fourths cup if you are using one box, but since we used two boxes today, we did about two and a half cups of water, and that was more than enough to you know get the rice nice and cooked for us step number three is one teaspoon of olive oil so I just went and poured a good amount of this into the spoon and then of course put it in with the water and the rice that we already did since we are using two boxes we did two teaspoons of olive oil because if we were just using one box we would obviously use just one teaspoon but we use an extra one just in case so there's what everything looks like in the pan and now we can move on to step number four which is of course bring all of those things together into a boil so I just put my stove on a high heat and let that boil. I also wanted to share this with you guys. If you use this phone app, the QR code reader, you can go ahead and click on this and what this does is it pretty much scans that little barcode on your phone and it takes you to their website and it's really cool because it shows you all different kinds of recipes that you can use with different types of rices that they have. They have different types of salads or side dishes that you can make with this rice so it's really cool and I really wanted to share that with you guys. So while that was just getting started in the boiling process, I just went in and just kind of stirred it up to make sure everything was getting nice and mixed really, really well. Mixing all the rice in with the oil and the water, just making it all nice and even. Here's just kind of a close-up of what the rice looks like. As you can see, at least in my opinion, it looks really, really good. So after it's all boiled up, you're gonna to wanna to turn your stove down to a medium level, and then we are going to be adding in the seasoning. So the, both boxes came with these packs, and this is where the flavor comes in. Once you do that, just go ahead and pour everything in and be sure to move on to the next step, which is to stir it up really, really, really good. This is what really makes the rice come alive. Live. It smells amazing. Your whole house will smell good. I love this rice. It's so, so good. This is like a meal on its own to me, but this would make a really good either side dish or even on top of like some chicken or something. I just absolutely love it. So the next step is to let it boil for 14 to 17 minutes until all of the water is totally absorbed like you see here. So there should be no water left in your pan. My stove worked a little bit hotter on this day, so it only took about 10 to 12 minutes before it was completely and totally done. The final step is step number eight, and that is to let it sit covered for five minutes. And then after that, after it cools a little bit, then you can go ahead and serve it and enjoy. Okay everyone, so here is the completed dish. As you can see, my dogs are very interested in this as well. 
But here's what it looks like. It looks super good, it smells good, and it tastes good. I really wanted to share this with you guys because I myself am a huge, huge rice lover. I hope you guys enjoy this, and if you try it out for yourselves, be sure to tag me so I can see how it turned out for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you all. Bye.